Hi, this is Dave from Gyra. Welcome to today's Thought for the Week. We're spending the four weeks leading up to Christmas thinking about Advent. We're following the traditional themes of hope, peace, love and joy. It's a way of preparing our hearts for Christmas and celebrating the arrival, or Advent, of Jesus. Churches often decorate an Advent wreath during December. Four candles decorate the outer edges of the wreath and one white candle sits in the middle. The church will light one of the candles each week and on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day will light the candle in the centre. These candles remind us of the attributes of God we use during our anticipation of Christ's coming, his first coming for Christmas and his long-awaited second coming. Three of the other four candles are purple and one is pink. Last week we thought about the second purple candle and the theme of peace. Today we're dwelling on the one pink candle which represents love. I don't know whether you believe in love at first sight or not, but I certainly do. I can still remember the birth of each of my children. Some people think that babies are beautiful. I must confess I don't. At very first sight, they all come out looking battered and bruised and covered in gunk. What's beautiful about that? But nonetheless, at that very first sight, I felt overwhelming love for each of them and just wanted to hold and kiss them in spite of their looks and the gunk. In the Christmas story we read that Mary gave birth to a baby boy. They called him Jesus and laid him in a manger. I can guarantee that whatever the surroundings they were in, whatever smells and sights were before them, Mary will have taken hold of that baby boy and loved him like she'd never felt love before. It's a mum thing, and a dad thing. The twist to this baby was that he was a love gift from God to a world that desperately needed to experience and learn real love, a self-sacrificial love that knew no bounds. As Jesus grew from baby to child and child to adult, he focused on preaching love throughout his ministry his self-professed two greatest commandments involve love. Love God and love your neighbour. Love is the greatest of all the virtues on the Advent wreath and encompass Jesus' entire purpose for being on earth. It wasn't just something he did though, it's what he taught. In short, he was teaching us to love like he loved. We too live in a world that needs to be shown and taught how to love. It's our calling now to be the love Jesus taught us. Thanks for listening. Bye.